All right, David, here is the set of parts. Decided to, uh, we've got a lot going on here, so I decided to set up inside of our shop. Shop's kind of a mess because we've had so much rain and we just kind of pile everything in here. But I will start at the front of the car. And I'm thinking instead of uh, us putting this together, I'm gonna let you put these together so you know exactly how or you know how you want to put them together so this is kind of like a little light kit got the polycarbonate lens with the Corella logo and everything on there then you've got the light unit and I think I had mentioned in that other video I think it'd be smart to put LED lights in here these generate a little bit of heat so you've got that these are buckets so you can take that, put it into the bucket like I showed you on the last video. And there's four different buckets. This is another option. This is the factory piece that goes in there that you can mount these lights in there if you wanted to mount to the, uh, to kind of like a factory piece. So you get a couple options there. There's our uh, grill. It's got the same curve as the front end um, you've got the front valance front bumper we've already installed the lights for you these when you take them apart be kind of careful try to bring that lens straight out this way if you bend it a little bit it's really in there pretty tight so you've got a nice fit then you've got access to the back of the lights through there uh, let's see we've got the nose panel and you can see we've got a little flange right here and over here the nose panel will attach to that you've got your hood over here i'm going to run over here so you can see your hood frame so hood frame and i showed you before how these are just tacked into place down here also so you can move them around and make that fit to your car perfect um got this piece that actually joins right onto there if you want to use that. I'd say probably most people don't use it. Uh, maybe if you've got a lot of rust or something, you want to replace that piece that goes in there. So you've got your fender, both fenders with the cloisonne badges. Get a nice shot of the badge. There's the dash that you had wanted. So there's the dash with all the pieces. Got your little See if I can use my finger here. Got the little bucket that goes in from behind there. Um, I leave that all undone so you can upholster it, kind of make this a little project for your upholstery guy. Um, this piece right here goes up behind, so there tilts your gauges. Up inside of there, we've got an uh, AC vent. If you can see that. So there's for your AC ducting. Uh, here's our mirrors. Right now there's just tape holding the mirrors in, but the uh, the mirrors actually, let me take this off so you can see what it looks like or how it moves. We had a pair of mirrors that we painted red just for fun, so I'm going to give you those. They're probably scuffed up and scratched up a bit, but so there's your pivoting manual pivoting pivots so there's wow. that hey Lewis I'm making a little video oh, here's the entire rear end this you'll see it's duplicated that little ledge where the window sits it's duplicated there so this edge would go up against there cut this piece right there cut that away put that piece in there but this just gives you a little bit of guiding there's the bucket we don't cut this out because it leaves a little weak place right here when you're lifting this whole piece up it can crack there got oops can crack there you got to be kind of careful i would put this whole rear clip on first and then cut that out then get your cup put it up from underneath here's a little lid um rear latch 
There's a key. Here's how we're holding this together right now. You'll find the two panels. We'll probably leave, just undo a couple screws and leave this attached. So we've got panel number one, panel number two, and panel number three. That holds the whole rear end together once you get it on the car. Rear deck lid, rear deck lid frame. And here are the hinges. You'll have to make this work on your car. We've got little holes for screwing that up there. Then on the end of this, what we have used, and it works pretty good, it's just a door hinge. Weld that on there, one end on there, one end bonded to the back area up inside of here and we've got a couple videos on the internet you can see what ours looks like when it's all done so that'll be your hinge mechanism you got to play a little bit with the fitment to make sure your back body line and everything lines up i'm sure you guys have done stuff like that before um do, do, do. i'm trying to go kind of fast here rear valance rear bumpers we've put the lights in there can't see too well. Let's see if we can. There's the GTO license plate lights. And over here, we've got that side. Inside here are the rear wheel well, splash panels. On each side here, you've got the splash panels here. Over here, you've got the splash panels. Here's the other mirror. And that adjusts real nice. There's a little better close-up of the dash. These are the side pieces. So this, depending on the car, how yours dash fits in there, you might want to trim some of this away. We left these separate, so if you trim that away, you can put that on to finish it off. And fiberglass this to this, so it becomes one, and then cover it but you'll notice you'll have a little bit of gap in your dash right there that you get to play with how you want it to fit in your car. Here's the other vent. We do that separate. Just seems a little bit easier to do that separate. Also, I'm thinking, well, there's the top of the car too. Here's the door panels door handles we just painted these black we we're painting a couple things we got a couple runs in them we just did it really quick this is a plastic piece but there's your door handle give you a little bit of an idea what it looks like there's the other one there's our big run <laughs> that's real thick paint but there's the door panel and then we cut this out for you um, there's not a whole lot of access to the inside of the GTO or the 308 or 328 doors, but you could make some sort of pocket if you'd want to. We put these little stopper pieces right there and probably let you do a hinge. I don't know if you'd want to do something from the inside like a piece of leather, some sort of hinge there, but or if you just want to upholster them all separately and put that together so it's non-functionable, but gives you a little idea. Here's our crate, and we are going to put all of these parts into the crate here. By the end of the day, we'll take a little video of all the parts and how we fit it together like a little puzzle inside of there. So hopefully this all makes sense to you. We're gonna undo the bolts. I think we can leave that piece, the gray piece, on one of these sides. And same thing up here. I think we can leave that on there so you don't have to search through it in the box trying to find it when you open up the box. But that's it. I'll show you this little badge here. And one more once over of everything. One thing we don't have, just to point out to you, 
is we don't have these little pins, the quick release pins. My understanding is there was a guy a few years ago that found some. They were used for something else, but um, we don't have those. But we do have that little latch that goes right there. And, oh, louver material. So we're going to count out this material that I showed you in the last video. We've got a, quite a bit of it, and we're going to give you more than what you need. So that'll be added to everything here. Um, as far as... In case you're curious, this is what we do for the inside of the bumpers. So you've got some nice little mounts. There's your lighting um, to hook up the lights. I'll show you a little bit how we finish the louvers and everything. Everything's finished off really pretty nice has a nice look to it. We do a little bit of body work to these parts so they don't just come out of the molds looking like this. And nobody can make parts that look very, really nice straight out of the molds. They got to spend a little bit of time on them, as you probably know. And let's see, as you can tell, Got some Porsche stuff going on here. Little P4 in the background, Noble P4. Made by, I think, somebody over there in the United Kingdom. Lee Noble, I think that's where he's from. So that should do it. That is everything. On the back of here, the lights, you can see there's axis through the back. And that should do it.